Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Corny Phil, back again in War Thunder. Uh, today we're playing realistic game mode, Eastern Europe, Conquest, or Single Flag, whatever you want to call it, game mode. And uh, riding out today, uh, taking out the uh, Jumbo 76, and uh, I will say first of all, I don't just drive the Jumbo because it's OP, I drive it because it, it and the Easy 8 are the two highest tanks I own. So, you know, understand, you know, I'm, I'm not just doing it because it's OP, though it is very strong. At this, at this point I'm winging a shot, don't get anything, what are you going to do? And I'm like, you know what, I'm going to get this shot. I'm going to stop, I'm going to zoom in, I'm going to uh, fire, and get his tracks. Go me, and then somebody hits me. Not so good. So now my tank's busted, but this gives me a chance to ramble for a minute because I'm just going to roll down here and uh, repair. So, I've been trying to play realistic a little bit more. Um, trying to get a little bit more into it. It's tough for me because with my work and everything, I don't have hours and hours to throw into a game like War Thunder. And that's really somewhere where Swiss beats me, is he has the hours. He can put in the time, the hours. So, he does, you know, he does good work in that sense. But anyway, so... You know, I'm trying to get the tanks, I'm trying to grind, but sometimes that means playing arcade because that's where the most bang for your buck typically is. Which is something Gaijin could fix if they made it so Simulator was times three and, you know, Realistic was times two or something on the experience and research earn. And I don't believe it's like that, so what are you going to do? But anyway, we're going to roll over this hill and we're going to try to get back into the fight. Uh... You know, tanks, tanks damage, but not horribly so. Turret's still rotating. Um, I keep forgetting to map the thing Swiss uses to do his x-ray stuff. That guy's not hittable. He's on the other side of a building. So I guess we'll just keep going. And uh, right here, I'm actually... Uh, actually, I take a second to check out my tank, and I realize, whoa, I got kind of lucky there. I'm pretty sure there's an ammo rack somewhere in there. So I'm just lucky they didn't blow me sky high and knock me out of the game before I even got got into it. So I see this stug and I say, okay, let's let's get a kill here. So I angle a little bit, probably a little too much, fire off a snapshot. Didn't want to hit his gun barrel, hit his gun barrel, what are you going to do? His shot does nothing. Uh, my second shot takes off his gunner and commander's head. And at this point, it's off to the races, I'm just going to knock this guy over. And, gotta say, this is one of those challenges with APCR, is, you know, you gotta put multiple shells in the tank and you gotta start shooting specific modules just to make sure you kill the tank. And I check my tank again saying, okay, where'd he hit me and I couldn't figure it out. Actually, I actually just caught it, it's on the left side of my tank, it's, uh, it was a nick, didn't do anything. But yeah, APCR is great, but, you know, at least it's got the one thing, it penetrates armor. So, I let this Sherman go ahead of me, I'm like, alright Sherman bro, lead the way. And I see on his barrel he's Big Shot, so now me and Big Shot, we're rolling through and he takes forever to get over this bridge. I'm not sure what he was doing, but he took his time. But yeah, so here we are, two Shermans, uh, out on the town, clearing, clearing the town. Uh, Shermans, we ride together, we uh, fight together, and unfortunately we do a lot of dying together. But what are you gonna do? We're not, you know, we're not Russian tanks. We we're not that heavily armored. Well, I, except for the Sherman Jumbo. But even me, I'm just armored from the front. You know, from the sides on paper. And I gotta give a shout out to Big Shot here because he's doing kind of a good job of he's checking his corners, he's positioning himself so he's trying to make sure that at least he can get a shot off. And we come poking around this corner and hello, Tiger. Now the shot I take here, incredibly risky. Would never do that. Can't believe I got it off. But I got his gunner and his commander. This guy's toast. So put one through there. Get his driver. Uh, put one through here. Get, I don't remember, some other stuff. Set him on fire. And I see, okay, he's got two crewmen on the left side. So I'm just going to take, take a pick. And I take what's frankly the riskier shot. But there you go. APCR doing its work. Tiger dead. And at this point, I decide, okay, big shot. I'm going to take the lead here. If we're going to knife fight with tigers, it may as well be me. I might actually live through a shot. And I'm trying to check my angles, but then, hello, another tiger. So, put one through there, get his uh, loader, his shot does nothing, and goodbye. 
uh, go through there, clip uh, clip most of his team, and that's all there is to say. So checking my tank again, saw he nicked me on the front, no big deal. Uh, tried to check my angle there, realized I couldn't, so I poke out and, hey look, a third tiger, jeez. Uh, his shot does nothing, my shot catches uh, most of his crew. Yep, good shooting by me. So at this point, I'm feeling great. Like, I'm like, okay, I've just clipped three tigers. I'm shooting at this panther. He hits me. It hurts like heck, but what are you going to do? But I'm, I'm still feeling good, so I'm just going to pick this panther apart. And he's got other problems. And I actually didn't see this the first time I when I was recording. The tiger just kind of, like, rolls backwards into the river. Man, it, was a, it was nice of him to clear the shot for me. But we're just going to keep plugging away at this panther. Uh, set him on fire, and then somebody else finishes him off. Kill assist. Not great, but what are you gonna do? So now I'm thinking, okay, I need to go try to support the A cap, and I, I make kind of a weird decision here. I decide what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna try to see if I can catch him from behind because I'm thinking maybe he's lined up with one of these cross streets and I can you know shoot him in the back or the side and you know be the hero, the hero my team needs. And I'm you know kind of like looking at my tank a little bit, seeing all these nicks, and I I got lucky in a couple places here where my armor just saved me when I probably didn't have a right to be saved. But what are you gonna do? And I run into one of my Soviet brethren here, and uh, he was kind enough to back up. I mean the truth is, I mean we we're both going the wrong way, I think. So I end up executing what is probably one of the most you know terrible three point turns I've ever executed. But I do manage to do no damage to myself and minimal property damage. So like I said, I'm feeling really good right now. I'm like, I've killed three tigers, I helped kill a panther, I'm a big cat hunter. But this game, like most things in life, uh, does make an effort to remind you that there's always a bigger fish, and there's always somebody waiting around to ruin your day. So I, I'm thinking, okay, you know what, we're going to go over this bridge, we're going to go to A, then I changed my mind, I'm like, you know what, let's just go to their spawn, let's see if we can't pick a fight with somebody, I'm pretty tough. And then I see the planes. I'm like, okay, those guys are likely to be a problem, I'm out in the open, I'm vulnerable, oh boy. So we're gonna kinda whip around here and try to, uh, get eyes. I see that JU-87, I'm like, okay, he's coming for me. So, start giving him the machine gun, give him the business, uh, fire the shot, uh, just keep shooting, uh, injure him a little bit, but don't kill him. And I look off to my left and I see this HE-111 uh, and I'm like, oh god. Yeah, he pretty much hit me directly. Can't get too angry about that. You know, sometimes there's always a bigger fish and sometimes that bigger fish has uh, wings and 1,000 kilo bombs. Anyway, we're going to ride out in the EZ-8 and I'm thinking this game's over and I'm not even sure this clip's going to be salvageable because we're not going to get a complete game. You know, but what are you going to do? But I'm like, you know what? We're going to ride out with the EZ-8. We're going to see what happened. And then I see the guy who killed me. And I'm like, oh, you need to die. So I line it up. I take the high risk. And boom! And at this point, I'm cheering. I'm, I almost jumped out of my chair. Because I was like, I just clipped the tail off this plane. Like, it wasn't a thing. So I'm feeling great. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to shoot this guy down too. And I miss. Yep, there we go. I missed. Oh, well. Shooting planes with tanks, kind of hard. And, you know, at this point, the the rest of the clip, the rest of the video, nothing really is going to happen. Uh, they're all dead, save, I think, two players who I'm not going to even get to see. I mean, to be honest, we won the game. We we took the A-cap. We punched them out of it, trying to trying to hit this guy. Somebody somebody else is getting him. It looks, I think it was that AA off to my right there. But... I'd like to speak for a few minutes about the uh, about the channel, about the way, um, about how I see things, and you know we'll go from there. Sound good? Great. Uh, first of all, really appreciate um, all the feedback we get, all you guys that tune in and watch us. Uh, I know it's rare to hear from me, and you know the truth is with my with work and everything, it's hard for me to make videos like I used to. I did co-found this channel. Me and Swiss are partners in this. But I've kind of taken more of a backseat role in terms of helping Swiss put together, um, you know, put together his videos. I'm usually one of the uh, beta watcher, beta testers, beta watchers for these things. And then on top of that, I, I run a lot of the Redditing and uh, social media stuff. And that's something where, um, you know, I really appreciate the Reddit community, both for being tolerant of us posting videos and just the, the stellar, you know, 
openness and acceptance that we get from the Reddit community in terms of, you know, watching our stuff. And I know a lot of people came from Reddit, you know, to, to our channel. We really appreciate that. But I also got to give a shout out to all the guys who, guys and girls who found us some other way. Really appreciate uh, you guys stopping in, watching, and, um, you know, I know there's some haters out there, and we're always going to have people who downvote our videos. And truthfully, me and Swiss look at it as, hey, we're big enough that people actually feel the need to hate. So that's nice. It's a good way to look at it. But we also appreciate all the constructive feedback we get, all of the just, you know, you know, all the advice, the feedback, the desires, the do this tank review. Um, speaking to, you know, reviews, I know um, planes are something people have been asking about. And the truth is that neither Swiss nor I is really much of a pilot. We're both kind of ground pounders by nature. I think Swiss is toying with the idea. He'll look into it, but... It's just not something I would expect in the near future. Uh, truthfully, not because we don't want to do it, but because neither of us is just that into it. Like, we like tanks. We're not super huge fans of planes. Anyway, uh, I've rambled for long enough, and the clip's basically over. I want to thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, remember to like it if you like it. Subscribe if you want to see more, and feel free to leave a, co leave a comment. I, I read every one of them, even if I don't reply to them all. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Corny Phil. Until next time, see ya.